and this little guy here enjoying the action as we pick up back in Germany. And we have a German veteran taking on Marta Kasjuk. That's right, guys. The world's number 27th. Marta comes into this match of 15 and 6 on the year. Three straight 24-plus win seasons. But she's taking on a clay veteran, Laura Sigmund, who had the home crowd backing her. The world's rank 84. She's been as high as inside the top 30 at 27th. Your current WTA doubles champion, Laura Sigmund, 11 and 8 on the year, over 400 wins on clay. Now, listen, guys, Laura Sigmund, she's literally coming off of a 30 win season. She's won seven of her last 10 matches. And that big win over Beecher Sadat last time out has to give her confidence. I covered that matchup and Laura, she loves to mix and drop shots, the short balls. She plays each point strategically. She takes her time and she, she's playing to win each point, which is very smart. She conserves energy and just seeing Beatrice, one of the taller, more physical players on tour, have to sprint off of that baseline every point last time out. It was tough to watch. Could she have success here against Marta Kasiuk, who, in my opinion, is one of the best vertical players on tour? She's very explosive and athletic. The only problem is for Laura to win a match like this, she would have to play this style of tennis constantly. <laughs> Now, you can see Marta slam her racket there. Now, Marta had several opportunities to break Laura Sigmund, and Laura did as well. But again, the problem, I think, with a matchup like this is we see Laura take sometimes 40 seconds per serve. She'll fault on the first serve, take another 10 seconds on the second serve. Next thing you know, a minute has gone by nearly, and the player she's playing against can't find a rhythm and this was a very sloppy match how about 38 break points between the ladies laura 7 of 20 marta kashu 9 for 18 and that's going to be the difference maker a long grueling match here but the more explosive athletic player comes through and i've questioned both of these ladies stamina in the past but clearly today marta had the better stamina 9 minus 7 equals 2, and those two extra break points was enough to give Marta this victory. She advances to the round of 16. She's going to take on Queen Win, someone she's faced last year at Montreal. I was there. I watched the match. Queen Win won that in three sets. Can we be in for another popcorn-worthy match? Stay tuned, guys. Queen Win, Marta, tomorrow.